Now a party election broadcast by the UK Independence Party. The last two generations have been robbed of an opportunity to vote on the EU, and yet it has greater impact on our everyday lives than anything that takes place here. We need to put this issue to bed now and not leave it for another generation. I want a Britain that is free to control its own destiny. It's estimated there'll be another 3 million people in Britain by 2020. Our public services are already stretched. The pressure on schools, housing, hospitals is huge. While we stay in the EU, we cannot control who comes into our country. Under EU regulations, so many of us have been put out of business. They don't cater for our needs and undercut our top quality meat with cheap imports. One by one, we are going bankrupt. This landscape will be changed forever. <laughs> the European Court of Human Rights has told the UK that prisoners should have the vote, yet voting is a civic right, not a human right. Why should unaccountable foreign judges change the laws of our land? I just can't afford to have the gas on. Bills have gone up and up, and my pension doesn't go as far anymore. Prices are rising. It's really tough for a lot of elderly people.
fish are bringing all, all sorts of different types of fish. Now the foreign vessels are sending all our catch abroad. EU quarters some days means we have to throw everything back. It's not even worth going out some mornings. It's just a struggle all the way through. Leaving the EU does not mean an end to trading with Europe. It spells the start of being able to trade with the entire world as well as our neighbours on the continent. We'd be able to set up our own trade deals that's a best fit for British business. Right. EU regulations place a stranglehold on businesses and cost jobs. There are so many rules and regulations, some make no sense whatsoever. It's never been harder to start and run a business as it is today. The beginning of May, of course, sees the run-up to the local and European elections. In a moment, we'll be looking at Labour's plans to appeal to generation rent. But a day after being accused of being chicken for refusing to run in the Newark by-election, UKIP's Nigel Farage had a close encounter with an egg in Nottingham today, thereby solving the eternal question of which came first. Our political correspondent, Michael Crick, joins us now from Westminster. Michael. Well, Krishna, it may not have been high policy, but certainly the most arresting picture today came when uh, the UKIP leader was out campaigning in Nottingham city centre, which, of course, is not that far from uh, Newark. Uh, when he turned up on the street, uh, Nigel Farage was looking pretty cheerful until a man came in from the side and smashed an egg on his head. The UKIP leader immediately got back into his car and went to clean himself up. The man was detained, meanwhile, for several minutes by UKIP security men. He said he was called Fred and explained he didn't like UKIP. He added, though, that Mr Farage should at least be pleased because the eggs, which he just bought from a nearby Tesco, were free-range and British. The man was later arrested on suspicion of assault. On May the 22nd, have your say on EU membership. The other parties promise a referendum every now and again and go on telling us we can't survive outside the European Union. The truth is that we can. We can govern ourselves, we can trade freely with the rest of Europe, 
we can control our own borders and make our own trade deals with the rest of the world. That's what the common market, of course, was supposed to be all about. We want our country back. We believe the best people to govern Britain are the British people themselves. And I'm urging you, on May the 22nd, join our People's Army and cause an earthquake in British politics. That was a party election broadcast by the UK Independence Party.